Okay, artistic friends in Monet Cafe, it's time for us to find out how much are we really saving when we make our own pastel surfaces. This is something that I've wondered for a while, and I was glad someone else in our Facebook group recommended a cost comparison. So that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to compare multiple products and making your own homemade surface to a piece of already created or prepared UART paper. You buy these papers already ready to work on. Now you may have seen my last video where I used this product by Golden called Micaceous Iron Oxide. It is a wonderful product. Now it does go on dark. I happen to like working on dark surfaces and it has a little uh, sparkle to it which is really neat. So I loved it. I wanted to show you here because I didn't show it in the last video what the product sounds like not just what it looks like. So here is a board that I created and I want you to listen right now. Now I play guitar and my fingers are a bit calloused, but I think you could tell by that sound that it really does create a nice gritty surface to work on. Um, I, I know I'm going to use this in the future, but I was glad someone in our Facebook group pointed out I had made a little mathematical error in the previous video, but it prompted me to recalculate, make things much easier, and now I want to share a cost comparison not just to the iron oxide, but to multiple products that I have used. Uh, not only uh, in my videos, but just through the years. And I like all of these products. I would recommend all of them. I do have more that are not showing here, but these are some of the goodies. And if I ever get the time, I would like to go in and uh, organize my YouTube channel here to make it more convenient for you to find things. I would love to put a playlist together uh, of all the videos that talk about making homemade surfaces. And also, for example, videos that talk about underpaintings or, or ones that talk about color and have them in groups so it's easier for you guys to find. Boy, I could use a helper. <laughs> There's not enough time to do life painting videos, organization, but hey, it's all fun and I love being here with you guys. All right, so in the video that I created yesterday that I took down because of the mathematical uh, miscalculation, I shared about the iron oxide product and the price of it. Uh, you can buy an, an eight ounce jar of this on Dick Blick for around $20, okay, 19.19. So now I'm going to go over uh, my calculations that I've reconfigured and uh, I think I've actually made it a lot easier to understand. So this is going to be the first thing you see is just the one product, the iron oxide. But stay tuned because after this I'm going to do a cost comparison for multiple homemade surface products. All right. All right, so let's get started in the comparison of the Golden Micaceous Iron Oxide Making Your Own Homemade Surface as compared to UART Paper. Now, I'm, I'm kind of glad I recalculated this because it's much simpler now. I'm going to be uh, kind of equating everything to a piece of UART Paper. One sheet of UART Paper that's 24 by 18 inches. You can buy it on Dick Blick for $7.73. Now you will still have to cut this up into the sizes, you know, so there's a little work involved in it, but um, but this makes it simple, okay? So I happen to know that one ounce of the golden micaceous iron oxide will easily cover um, one sheet this size of UART paper. It will, and then some, it will cover, okay? So I'm being real fair in this comparison. Uh, I bought a little one ounce size on Amazon just as a sample because I couldn't get a one ounce on Dick Blick. I don't recommend that. It is more expensive, but this is when I was just experimenting. So now I will definitely buy um, the product again. I think an eight ounce size is probably pretty good. An eight ounce um, jar of the iron oxide is about $20. So if you calculate that out, each ounce of the 8 ounce size is going to be $2.39. Okay, so it costs about $2.39 to cover um, your surface uh, in the same size, the 24 by 18 area of UART paper. Okay, so that's just the product as compared to the UART paper. Now we have to put this product on something, so we've got to add that to our cost of our homemade surface. 
Now, if you use um, watercolor paper like I did in the video for the painting that I did, it is really cheap. You know, I mean, it's really very, very inexpensive. But let's go ahead and compare it to the mat board that I used at the end of the video. Uh, I do like to use mat board a lot. I happen to have a whole lot of it from a previous project. Um, but I went on Dick Blick and compared the Strathmore White One Ply Mat Board. It is acid free, archival, uh, good to use. Uh, I couldn't find any sheets smaller than 32 by 40 inches, okay? That's $4.15. If we cut that in half, that's definitely bigger than the sheet of UART paper, okay? So again, I'm being very fair in this comparison. So only half would be needed to put this one ounce on. Half of that is $2.08, okay? So um, it, the grand total, if you add the $2.08 to $2.39, it costs you about $4.46 to cover your surface with an ounce of the iron oxide um, as compared to one sheet, a 24 by 18 sheet of UART paper, that's $7.73. Now keep in mind, um, you do still have to cut this up. These aren't the packs of UART paper. Those are even more expensive per inch. Um, so if we look at the difference there, a, a piece of UART paper is $7.73. The homemade surface is the to grand total, the product and the mat board of $4.46. So it's a difference of $3.27. Okay, that actually, I think the savings is better. Again, I think I can cover more than a piece of UART paper that size, and you're definitely getting more mat board, you know, than the size of UART paper. So that's a very fair comparison. But I thought we'd also go ahead and look at some of the other products in general as compared to a sheet of UART paper. All right, so let's go ahead with our comparison now of using the clear liquid gesso uh, to make your own homemade surface. And again, I'm doing apples to apples comparison. I'm finding everything on Dick Blick. So, you know, here's your bottle of clear liquid gesso. I use this a lot to put on watercolor paper. It makes a nice little grit um, to make your own homemade surface. And it was really nice that these also come in um, the eight ounce, you know, to compare the same as our other product. Um, and an eight ounce uh, bottle of the clear gesso is $9.89, okay? Let's go ahead and go through all the product prices and then I'll go back and show the comparison sheet, okay? Now, um, the next one would be, I've often used this golden uh, coarse pumice gel. I used this to make a homemade product that I emulated from artist Rita Kirkman. She uses, I have two videos on this actually, um, how I, I recreate how she makes her boards and I add um, a golden uh, quinacridone gold fluid acrylics to this to make a beautiful, oh, it's just a luminescent golden type of um, uh, underpainting along with your coarse um, surface to make for pastel surface. So this is a great product here. So let's look at the price of this. I believe it also came in eight ounce sizes. Uh, oh, I actually, this says coarse. I believe I use the fine. We'll see that in the picture. So let's look at the fine eight ounce. Okay. That is $10.31. Okay. And now let's go ahead and look at the next one, which is the Art Spectrum Color Fix Primer. These are great. You can buy them in different colors. You literally just apply it similar to how I did in my previous video with a foam brush or brush, or and um, they come in all these different colors. Now they come in a 250 milliliter little jar. And uh, comparing that, I went ahead and did a little comparison. Milliliters to ounces, 251 is almost eight ounces. Okay, so we're kind of close to the same uh, comparison. So this, um, I like this Australian gray color. I, I tend with these to like the more neutral colors and then I tint it myself or do an underpainting myself. So, but again, this is a little bit more expensive. Okay. So these are $18.39 for basically eight ounces. Okay. So let's go back and compare these. I couldn't find, um, the Matisse product that I had in the picture, uh, it's probably going to be similar, but these are enough to kind of get an idea. So let's go back and crunch some numbers and see how much we're saving. All right, so now let's look at the savings that we can achieve using some of the other products. Uh, again, this is all going to, going to be compared to a piece of UART paper, 24 inches by 18 inches. It's $7.73 on dickblick.com. All right, I went ahead and added the golden iron oxide in here just to see them all on one form. 
One ounce of each of these should be ample amount to cover a piece of UART paper this size. So here's the prices. The iron oxide, $2.38 per ounce. Clear gesso, $1.23. That's your cheapest one right there. Um, I don't think it works as good as some of these others, but I use it a lot just because it's easy and uh, and cheap. <laughs> um, so $1.23 for that. Golden pumice gel is $1.29 uh, per ounce. And Arc Spectrum Color Fix Primer is a, another one that's more expensive. So the, the iron oxide is the most expensive, and I really liked it. And uh, this Color Fix Primer is also up there a little bit too. But still, let's see, we're still getting a big savings. Now we have to put it on a board, uh, or we don't have to put it on a board, watercolor paper or a board. On watercolor paper, it's gonna be a lot cheaper. Um, but again, to be fair to you art paper, let's put it on a piece of Strathmore, one ply mat board. Only half of this sheet is needed. It's actually still bigger than the piece of uh, paper we're comparing it to. So about two bucks um, for the board we will be putting it on. When you do the grand totals of each product, to make your own homemade surface, from this product, the iron oxide, $4.46 equated to that size. Okay, 773. Clear gesso, 331 as compared to 773. Golden pumice gel, 337 as compared to 773. And Art Spectrum Color Fix, 437. Still a savings, even though, well, that one wasn't the most expensive. That was the most expensive, but still a savings um, of all of these over buying your own uh, pre made. Uh, pastel papers such as and I'm sorry you are I'm not picking on you I love your paper it's one of the best that's why I'm using it as a comparison I will still buy you art paper um, I think it is uh, most likely um, better than a lot of uh, making it yourself but I sometimes like the, uh, that's probably not a fair comment because sometimes I like creating my own board it lends to a more um, painterly style sometimes and I have more control if I want to give it a little more texture so there's definitely advantages to both but if you're pinching pennies you can see there definitely is the same this was very good for me to do this because you know I don't want to keep talking about making our own surfaces if it's really not saving you money so I hope that helped everyone and again I hope I haven't made any big mathematical errors here but I think we're pretty darn close and uh, keep painting beautiful things join us here on this channel often and join us also in Monet Cafe Art Group on Facebook. It's lots of fun. All right, guys, happy, happy painting.